Hello fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of September 16, 2018. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing week it is. We have an active sky and an important one. And part of what is so important this week has to do with Mars. Ever since the middle of May, we have had Mars retrograde season. And as soon as the season started, we had the beginning of an ongoing dance, the first perfection between Mars and Uranus as they spoke at various times with more precision than others in a conversation of some tension. And this ultimately represented quick events and surprise for all of us and particularly in at least one area of life for each of us. Well, the first exact moment as part of this larger dance took place right around the 16th of May. The second actually happened technically at the very beginning of August, but then we had that lunar eclipse, if you remember, in the late part of July, and that was activating this conversation as well, essentially extending the energy of that time. And then we have here, this week, in the middle of the week, we are going to have the final, exact perfection in this ongoing dance between these two planets. And this is going to be one of the final moments where we start to understand what some of the higher lessons and the spiritual lessons have been for us as Mars has been moving mostly through the sign of Aquarius, but also dipping in and out of the sign of Capricorn as well. Now for us as a collective, the sign of Capricorn, of course, has to do with things like ambition. It has to do with understanding social structures and societal structures, and it has to do with power and defining what power is for ourselves. And the sign of Aquarius has to do with a few different things. One is humanitarian efforts, but it is also a deeply personal energy as well, a highly individualistic energy. Mars is a symbol of personal power that arises from self-knowledge. It has to do with knowing yourself so completely and acting from that place of wholeness and that place of inner truth. And ultimately Mars can be very determined. It is a courageous energy. And so all of us has been asked to summon an energy of courage in our own areas of life. And you know, sometimes we don't take enough moments to acknowledge that not all courage is bold or brash. Very often, true courage is more quiet. It has to do with looking within ourselves and with challenging our own resistance. So all of us have been going through this in one way or another and as part of the journey have found ourselves and also have come to a deepening understanding of our place among others. So with this energy, with this week, do expect in some way the events to transpire now to hearken back to what was taking place in the middle of May, what was taking place as July was ending and August was beginning. This is in some ways going to give us a fresh perspective, possibly very much by surprise. But the other layer of this is that this is now going to allow us to actually make a move and to create agreements that help us to feel more solid about our future. And the part of the sky that speaks to this sense of feeling like we are taking power and moving in a direction of greater healing and actually being a force of transformation for ourselves and the people around us. Well, that has to do with the beautiful conversations that Mercury is having. Right out of the gate, Mercury is going to reach out in supreme harmony with Pluto and in harmony with Jupiter. This is energy that can be very persuasive where it is that willingness to have that conversation or to communicate what it is that we are truly wanting that can actually open up greater opportunities to us. With uh, the energy of Jupiter in the sign of Scorpio, now we're in the last few weeks really, it is going to be in early November that Jupiter will change signs and move into its home sign of Sagittarius and I'll have a lot more to talk about that in the weeks ahead because it really is very exciting. But if you think about it, Jupiter moving through the sign of Scorpio has been in large part about us collectively looking at the truth, right? What's really going on behind the scenes? What's going on beyond the illusion? What is the nitty gritty 
of our lives, of our realities? And where is it that we can see beauty there? Where is it that we can see value there? And so it has been very revealing, again, for the collective, but also within ourselves and in our own dynamics right where we are. It is a week like this that helps us to understand that inner dynamic more deeply and helps us to communicate our feelings in regards to that. But it also helps to bring about an energy of healing as a result of what has become more obvious to us. So what is your truth? Where is it that you are no longer willing to accept what is just an illusion or what seems pretty on the surface, but underneath the surface maybe is more complex? You know, I'll tell you, no matter who it is that you are talking to, we like to uh, glamorize or idealize or put people on pedestals and talk about, you know, how much happier someone is because they have a more simple take on life. But the truth is we all have our complexities. It is a part of the human expression at this point in our collective evolution. It has to do with the fact that yes, maybe in certain areas we are very straightforward and maybe we do have a more simple philosophy, but in other areas and at least one area, all of us can be quite complex and have our contradictions. And that is part of what this energy is saying is going to be revealed at this time, but in the best possible sense. It tells me that this sense of the truth being revealed for ourselves and in the collective ultimately will help to facilitate meaningful transformation and meaningful change from the inside out. It is that connection between Mercury and Pluto that I am very excited about because that tells me that we are focused and that we understand what really matters. And we are feeling very connected to our truth. And it is in that, that we understand what we're willing to let go as superfluous, as superficial, as what doesn't really matter. And instead be more pure for ourselves and to stand more in our truth. There's something enlivening about that. There's something so inspiring about knowing that what the reality is of any given situation and of you and where you've been and what you've done and where you are now, regardless of how it is that others may judge it, regardless of how you have judged it in the past, the truth is that there is still some perfection that is playing out there. There is still something that is positively inspiring about you and about your life right now. So where is it that just acknowledging that is the transformation can serve as the catalyst towards creating a momentum that leads to a more authentic version of yourself, a version of yourself that feels like it truly is representing the truth that you are now understanding is something to be proud of and is something to uphold as a virtue. I love these mercurial connections with these power players, especially in the context of this week, because just Mars and Uranus alone can be, you know, shocking and twists and turns and surprises. We might have a little bit of that, but thankfully because of Mercury, we are going to be able to see through any illusion, some external circumstance of what seems unpredictable or what seems precarious and instead understand what is everlasting and what is everlasting is what it is that you learn how it is that you grow what it is you come to understand and appreciate about yourself and those lessons those spiritual lessons emotional lessons they have a way of staying with us long after the sky has already transformed itself and moved on to other celestial conversations it is these profound understandings that shape us and determine what our next moments are going to look like and over the course of a lifetime truly do determine our trajectory and it is that kind of week where we're going to make a lot more sense of the last few months, but also taking a much more loving approach. And part of that loving approach will come up as a result of the people that we are talking to, the people we're running into, uh, the messages that are being exchanged, the information that is finding us. The planet of Mercury also has to do with synchronicity. And so I am a big believer in synchronicity. You may know this. Um, and that is because synchronicity has to do with understanding an integrated way of relating to 
into the world and an integrated way of understanding your place in the world. And it is about creating a relationship with your environment. And whether that environment is the smallest moments of your life or you're thinking of something and then a message comes in or you have an inspiration and you follow it up with a small action and it snowballs in wonderful ways from there or synchronicity and our relationship with our environment can also play out in terms of the planets because the sky is a part of our environment. And I do think that astrology is a powerful act of synchronicity where we come to the chart or we come to the astrologer in a particular moment and we get the omen it is that we need for that moment. Now, this is something that has been talked about a whole lot by brilliant minds, uh, people who are legends in not only our field, but also beyond our field. If you want to look into that further, how synchronicity connects with astrology, you can look into the work of Carl Jung. You can look into the work of Jeffrey Cornelius. Uh, these are some people who really have uh, contributed greatly to our collective understanding of this and my personal understanding as well. As we get to the later part of the week, we are going to have the sun meeting Mercury in the sky. These two planets do this from time to time. It's not exceptionally rare, but when the they do this it is a powerful time of illumination and even a more visionary prophetic vision as well and what I mean by that is the Sun has to do with a few different things it symbolizes our self and our core and our center it is a symbol of identity as well and knowing who we are and knowing that we are worthy to shine and be seen it is Mercury that has to do with mind and intellect and a more conscious understanding of the world and being able to articulate that. And so when these two planets get together, it is a time when mind is illuminated, when conversations make things more clear. The sun is the ancient Apollo and Apollo was the ancient Greek God of a few different things. But one of the things that he ruled was rationality and he also ruled prophecy as well so it's very interesting to consider how the ancient greeks understood these as linked they understood them as hand in hand with each other and i do think that when the sun meets mercury in the sky it is as if it is our mind level awareness our cognizant understanding of how it is that we can merge rationality with prophecy a sense of clarity about where we are, but also understanding which way the energy is going and deciding if that's the direction that we want to go in. Well, that is part of the blessing that does come up when these two planets meet in the sky. And the fact that they travel quite close to each other, Mercury is never more than two signs away from the sun. The fact that they do meet uh, on occasion, it's not terribly rare for them to meet in the sky. Well, it tells me that this is actually a very important appreciation for us to have, for us as human beings to have this understanding of where it is that rationality and prophecy meet. They don't have to be exclusionary. They don't have to be two separate things or two separate parts of us. But rationality is a gift of being a human being, but so is our spiritual reality, our intuitive reality. And that intuitive reality allows us to glimpse our own energy and allows us to glimpse the way in which our lives and a particular situation may be going. It is this meeting of the sun and Mercury that will allow us a moment of clarity an epiphany, if you will, that helps us to understand where we are right now and how we really feel about it. But I think that Mars and Uranus as well, these two planets are also very much about that epiphany energy. And they're both about truth. Both Mars and Uranus are planets that are closely associated with understanding who it is that we really are and being determined to live from that place of inner knowledge and inner truth. The desire for compromise isn't really there so much when it is that Mars and Uranus speak. There tends to be a clarity about what it is that you really want to do and at the same time a certain uh, determination that can border on impulsiveness 
in terms of not only is it understanding what we have to do, but then just doing it, like just going out and making it happen. The great thing is, is that with Mercury and the sun speaking under the same sky, what it suggests is it isn't just going to be completely an instinctual process, but we're actually able to bring rationality to it. We're actually able to bring a sense of understanding and we're able to articulate the understanding as to why it is that we are taking certain actions that we feel inspired to take. At the very end of the week, Mercury will change signs and Mercury will move into the sign of Libra. And this is going to bring a focus on conversations and connections and one-on-one -on -one alliances it also tends to make more of us as a collective because mercury rules the media so wherever mercury goes it's like we as a collective start talking more about uh, matters having to do with that sign and the sign of libra has to do with things like diplomacy it has to do with partnership but also what is a healthy partnership what is a spiritual partnership what is a romantic partnership and where is it that the two of them can actually meet so we'll be talking a lot more about the dynamics that play out between two different entities whether that's two people whether that's a business partnership whether that's two nations as well we'll be looking at how it is that we can create a more harmonious circumstance for us we will be looking at where it is in our own individual journeys and in our own lives that we can be more willing to align with others or be more willing to connect with other people and understand how other people enrich our lives we'll also be more motivated to move towards more harmonious interactions with others and that in turn can allow us to be open to seeing another perspective or another point of view and it is ultimately this desire to understand that can be one of the most healing trends of all as part of the celestial climate this true depth of understanding not only of ourselves but about each other that is part of the promise going forward from here and so as a collective we'll be talking more about love and relationships and you know what's a healthy breakup what's not a healthy breakup we'll be talking more about how it is that we want to be with each other what it means to be civil what it means to be decent with each other but ultimately i do think that a lot of that needs to come from an understanding of self and so what does it mean to be more gracious with yourself and how is that now going to show up in your interactions with others in your alliances with other people what does it mean to actually bring about a greater spirit of understanding to you and all the complexities you hold and all the ways in which you may contradict yourself what would happen if you didn't judge it what would happen if you didn't see yourself as fragmented and trying to put up a persona of wholeness and instead you just accepted that you know we all have various parts of ourselves and they have various different desires and various different needs and sometimes it's okay to be okay with that so what would it look like to actually approach yourself with the type of respect and decency and calmness that you would hope that you would get from others and that you could give to others that is part of the great blessing now and it is also part of what can be a transformative influence in the world right where we are today with Jupiter being highlighted this week, there is a motivation to heal, to heal our lives, to heal our bodies as well. That's the Mercury moving through the sign of Virgo energy to heal ourselves on, in terms of how it is that we are perceiving things and to allow a greater spirit of acceptance. That is where the greatest healing spirit can come in most importantly it is by bringing a true spirit of acceptance that paradoxically we're able to actually set the foundation to create the type of profound transformation that we're truly desiring a transformation that makes us more aware of how it is and where it is that right now we are moving towards greater love and greater wisdom as well well, thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful for it. So tell me, what do you love about this week? What are you most excited about? What has your Mars retrograde season journey been like for you? And how are you hoping that the sky is going to help you to reach that sense of clarity and closure that you may be ready for? I'm so excited to read you guys. I love reading you guys in the comments below. So 
please do share and share with each other as well. You can find me online, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram as well, and the newsletter on my website, NadiaShaw.com. You can find out what all this wonderful stuff this week means for you and your sign by logging on to my website. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, and so much more, all of this in the superstar space, including, as I said, special horoscopes. They are on my website as well. The most recent special horoscopes have been the Venus retrograde season special horoscopes. I do have a whole bunch of events coming up online and in person. So some online events that are coming up very soon this month. I think it's actually starting this coming weekend, if I remember correctly, but there's this huge astrology summit that is going to be taking place online courtesy of Astrology Hub. I had such a great time uh, talking to Amanda, teaching that class, and I will be also part of a live Q&A. And so please do check that out. It should be below. The comments below will have the description below rather will have the links for you and you can sign up for free you can attend these classes for free from some of the most amazing astrologers alive today giving their opinion about how to use or utilize astrology towards achieving greater consciousness so that really is a lot of what i talked about i talked a lot about synchronicity and awareness and knowing who it is that you are and allowing the sky to be part of that unfolding to move you towards greater love and greater wisdom it really was such a rewarding conversation uh, to have and so i really hope that you enjoy that and as i said you can sign up for free at the link below also we are going to have uh coming up synchronicity university at synchronicityuniversity.com the next session is so close classes will start in october and the next session the autumn session all the classes the four classes are based on some of the most common questions asked of any astrologer so I know it's going to be great there's going to be a wonderful group we've got a lot of people signed up already thank you so much to everyone who has signed up and there's still time you do get a discount if you sign up for all four or you can take the individual classes that appeal to you most there's also a whole lot of other classes that I've already taught that you can get as instant downloads by going to synchronicityuniversity.com topics of the classes I will be teaching in October include uh, signatures of long-term love we are also going to be looking at life purpose in the astrology chart and luck and fortune in the astrology chart and money and career so those are the four classes i really look forward to meeting you there and speaking of these classes i am going to be speaking coming up in the near future so do mark your calendars memorial day weekend i am going to be in seattle washington it's my first time in seattle I'm so excited. I'm going to be speaking at the Norwalk conference and I will actually be teaching in person a couple of these very classes that are part of the autumn session that I'm going to be teaching. So it's signatures of long-term love is one of the in person classes I will be teaching. The other is life purpose in the astrology chart. And so if you can join me in Seattle, that's going to be in May. So I know it's a little bit further ahead, but please do save the date Memorial day weekend. I will be there. And, uh, I always love being in person as well. That live energy. It's always so much fun and there's always hugs and all kinds of wonderful things. Great energy always. And I'm really looking forward to being in Seattle for the very first time. Shortly before, earlier in the month of May, I'm also going to be in Vancouver. So be on the lookout for more details about that as part of the Fraser Valley Astrology Guild out there. They're bringing me out there again. And Vancouver is amazing. Vancouver just feels like home. Uh, in so many ways. One of my spiritual mentors has been part of my life for 20 years, uh, actually moved out there not too long ago. So it's just, it really does feel like home when I'm there. And so I'm really looking forward to, to meeting friends and fans there as well. And taking it back a little bit, late January, beginning of February, I am going to be part of an astrology event that is taking place here in Mexico, not too far from where I live, just a couple hours away, uh, there's going to be a beautiful event taking place, an astrology event. You can learn a lot more about that by going to the link in the description below. So there's lots of chances to learn online, in person, uh, and I hope that 
every single class, every single moment is actually one that helps facilitate some sense of greater awareness within yourself and helps facilitate some sense of you moving towards greater love and greater wisdom in your own journey. I just want to thank you. Thank you so much. There are so many moments now when I'm just filled with gratitude for this opportunity to have your trust and this opportunity with you. Be on the lookout. If you are a fixed sign, meaning if you are an Aquarius, a Leo, a Taurus, or a Scorpio, it is going to be that energy of Mars and Uranus that is especially heightened for you. It's going to be one of the more dominant energies for you this week. And so you can expect revelations and quick developments where it comes to what is happening, not only in your life, but also with yourself as well. And if you are a, a earth sign in particular, a water sign as well, I do think all that Mercury and Pluto and Jupiter energy, well, that's just going to be so wonderful, so wonderfully inviting. You will be able to be a powerhouse of persuasion and just get just about anything that you want. And so make sure you are tapping into that energy. Earth signs are going to experience those blessings most and followed by water signs, but all of us in at least one area of life are going to be able to maximize the blessings there. And I'm especially excited about as we get to the end of the week with Mercury moving into air sign Libra. That is going to be a real illumination and help us to understand each other more clearly. The signs that are going to benefit most from that in the weeks to come are most likely going to be air signs followed by fire signs. So there's more than enough blessings for all of us to go around, more than enough ways for us to maximize the potential on offer this week and beyond to move our lives towards greater love and greater wisdom, which really I do believe is the point of why we're here. It is the evolutionary impulse, if you will, to more further embody that energy that we call love and wisdom or however it is that you understand it. That is what we are here to own more within ourselves and to allow it to show up more in all of our interactions with each other. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.